Alex and I are amateurs when it comes to woodworking or refinishing furniture, but we wanted to breathe some new life into this much loved and very used dresser using Jacquard's Dynaflow. As you can see, it is a very damaged piece of furniture. So the first thing we need to do is sand it. Once it's all sanded, I'm going to find a space hidden below to do some test swatches. I used a few different colors of Dynaflow, but I think the one I like the best is this periwinkle on the very end. Now you may ask why use Dynaflow, rather a traditional stain. Well, stains stay on top of the wood and dyes usually sink deep into the wood, allowing you to see more of the wood grain and texture. Dynaflow is like dye in that it will sink into the wood, but unlike dyes, which will fade over time, Dynaflow will retain its color because it's really a highly saturated and highly transparent fluid acrylic paint. I'm applying it with a sponge and going in the direction of the wood. You could also use a brush to do this. It is also important to remember to let it dry in between coats. The end result is quite lovely. As you can see, you can see a lot of the texture and grain of the wood coming through. And it's a really vibrant blue, but it's a little bit darker than I was expecting. Um, had I more experience, I might have diluted the Dynaflow with water before putting it on, so it would have been a little bit thinner. But I do have a solution. I'm going to go back over it again with some white and violet. I am going to be mixing my own color, so I'm going to use measuring utensils to make sure that it's the same quantity each time I mix it. And the white is a bit opaque, so it's not going to be as transparent, but I'm okay with that. I'm interested to see what will happen. Again, remember to allow ample time for drying in between applying your coats of Dynaflow. Once you're satisfied with the results, you can then apply a varnish uh, or another type of sealant to seal your wood. Remember, we're using a brush and going in the direction of the wood grain. I am pretty thrilled with the results. It's certainly a unique piece of furniture, and I think it's pretty fresh and something that uh, you wouldn't come across often. I really enjoyed the process and look forward to doing it again, and I encourage you to do the same.